If you are looking for a classic bodysuit with an interesting detail which you can add depending from your mood or maybe from the weather, I will show you how to make it. This bodysuit is a beginner-friendly sewing project. It consists of two separate pieces of the bodysuit and a cover-up with long sleeves, so you have plenty of options how to wear it. Also, as an idea, you can make it in different colors and then mix and match. If your fabric is stretchy enough, you can twist the cover-up piece to get a more interesting look. You can find this pattern in our Etsy or online store. The links are down in the description. This pattern comes in US sizes from 0 to 20 and in European measurement system it would be from 32 to 52. You can print this pattern in A0 format or in US letter A4 formats which are perfect for the regular printers. These three pattern details are for the bodysuit part and these three are for the cover-up. I will be using a very soft rib jersey, but you can use any stretch materials that have at least 50% of stretch. For example, stretching mesh materials also would be perfect if you want more of a lingerie looking garment. You will also need a matching thread and 3 to 4 push buttons. These plastic buttons are nice because they hold together very strongly and they are pretty flat. However, when I'm opening them, they are ruining my nails, so I actually prefer to use the old school metal push buttons but in a smaller size. I will use a sewing machine and a serger. If you don't have a serger, head down to the description. There is a video that shows what sewing machine stitches you can use instead. Let's start by cutting everything out. Here, this fabric is quite atypical because it's super narrow and it took me some time to figure out how to squeeze the details in. But if your fabric is at least 140 centimeters wide, simply open the tutorial file and there will be suggested pattern layouts, which might help you a lot to place the pattern details faster. While we are here, do not forget to mark the notches. This will help us a lot later when we will be matching together the pattern details. You can use a marker or scissors to snip 4 mm in the seam allowance. Lay the back and front panel details with the right sides facing each other. Serge or sew the left shoulder seam. If you need to, you can pin the seam, but be very careful to take out the pins before using a serger. After that, press the seam towards the back panel. Now take the useful strip and fold it on half so the wrong sides are facing each other. Lay the useful strip's right side on the bodysuit's right side and serge or stitch around the neckline. Here from the other angle you can see that there are three layers together. I usually do not pin the strip and just stitch going around the neckline. Where the line is more curved you will need to stretch a bit more the useful strip so it will lay very nice and flat on your neck. When you have finished working around the neckline simply cut off the excessive part of the useful strip. Here we can see that the seam we just made is all over the place. That's why we should top stitch it so it would be nice and flat. So make a stitch with the sewing machine some 4 to 5 millimeters apart from the previously made seam and do catch the fabric and also the seam allowance underneath. This is how it should look and now the seam is fixed in the place. Do not worry if it looks a bit wavy, that's why right now it's a perfect time to press it out and make everything very nice and smooth and flat. I cannot emphasize enough that iron is our best friend. Now again lay bodysuit's right sides together and stitch the right shoulder seam. By the way, if you are using a serger, do not cut off the serger thread at the neckline side. After that, press the shoulder seam towards the back panel.
Now let's use exactly the same hemming method for both armholes. So take the useful strip, fold it on half and lay it around the armholes on the right side of the fabric. Slightly stretch the useful strip where the armhole is more curved. Do the step for both armholes. After that, top stitch the armholes. Remember that you need to stitch together the bodysuit panels with the seam allowance that is underneath. Place the bodysuit on the ironing board and press it flat. There is such a huge difference after pressing. Lay the bodysuit with the right sides facing each other and stitch both side seams. Here as well remember not to cut off the serger threads at the armholes because later we will hide these threads inside the seam allowance. Press these seams towards the back panel. Now we are ready to hem the leg holes. I will be using exactly the same method as I was using previously. I am taking the useful strip folding on half and laying around the edge. I really love this hemming method because it looks like it's done by a cover stitch machine. When I asked you on Instagram do you have a cover stitch machine, most of you said that no and I don't have it either. Frankly, I'm quite hesitant to spend a couple hundred euros for a machine that has such a specific use, especially if there are such great workarounds. Now let's work with the opening parts of the bodysuit. So take the front panel and lay the right side with the opening ribbon's right side. Fold the opening ribbon's shortest edges around the leg hole hems. Make a stitch 7 mm apart from the raw edge. Flip the opening ribbon in a way the draw edges are staying inside. At this moment I find it very helpful to use an iron to shape the opening ribbon before sewing. Sew around the perimeter and make sure that all the raw edges are hidden inside. So this is how it looks for the front panel's opening part. For the back panel it will go in the opposite direction. So you need to match the opening ribbon's right side with the back panel's wrong side. Fold the opening ribbon's shortest edges around the leg holes hems and then work in the same way by pressing down the opening ribbon and folding all raw edges towards inside. Stitch around the perimeter. This is how the back panel's opening should look like. Now we need to sew on the push buttons. I'm going to use the regular needle with a matching thread and simply sew on these buttons on the opening ribbon. Do three to four stitches at each hole. If you also use the serger, let's hide the serger threads in the seam allowance. I am using a tapestry needle with a big eye and then I put these threads inside this needle and then hide them in the seam allowance. This way we will be completely sure that even after washing these seams will not unravel. We have finished the bodysuit and now we are ready to make the cover up. So lay the front and back pieces together with the right sides facing each other and stitch the left shoulder seam. Press the seam towards the back panel. And by now I think you know the drill. So let's use the useful strip around the neckline 
fold it on half and lay it on the right side of the cover-up. Serge or so around the neckline and lightly stretch where the line is more curved. After that, top stitch the previously made seam. I highly recommend to press right after because it is easier to lay the details flat. Lay the front and back panels with the right sides facing each other and stitch the right shoulder seam. Press the seam towards the back panel. Now let's prepare both sleeves. So, if you don't have a cover stitch machine, use the same method with the double folded useful strip and serge it or sew it on the hems of the sleeves. If you do have a cover stitch machine, you can skip the step and simply hem the sleeves at the very end. And here again I will top stitch the previously made seam. Press it completely flat. Pack your sleeves and find the notches. Lay the sleeves right side with the cover-ups right side. The middle notch at the sleeve goes for the shoulder seam and match the rest of the notches. Stitch together the cover-up with the sleeves. Lay the cover-up in a way that the right sides are facing each other. Stitch one side seam, starting from the body panel's hem to the sleeve's hem. For my serger users, leave longer serger strats at the sleeve's hem. Now we are ready to hem the cover-up, so again I will be using a folded useful strip and lay it on the right side of the cover-up's hem. Stitch the folded strip around the bottom edge. Remember to top stitch to fix the previously made seam. Here pressing is super important because at the front panel the hem is quite curved and with pressing we will shape it properly. Lay the cover up with the right sides facing each other and stitch starting from the sleeve's hem up until the cover up's bottom edge. Leave long serger threads at both endings and then use a tapestry needle with a big eye to hide the serger threads inside the seam allowance. And this is it, we have finished! If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel for more sewing and knitting tutorials. Bye!